10 is like watching 1970s NFL. Okay, final score is going to be, in football terms, 14 to 10. Off the crossbar and in, cha-ching! Gene Fugaro saying yeah, no. You, well, you got to show me this because the ball needs to entirely cross the goal line for it to be a goal. So a double pipe, a triple pipe, a quadruple pipe is not a goal. Unless at one point in time during the pipes, it crosses the entire line. Shipley to Ben Smith. Can't really tell there. All the Penn players react like the ball hits the crossbar, bounces into the goal, and then kicks out. Let's see. The net moves, but the net would have moved by the How is that a sheer goal? force of... How is that a goal? Can you show me that again in slow motion? we got to see that in slow motion. Because there's nothing that shows the ball. The goal rattles. We've seen this before when goals rattle. Well, we saw it in a quarterfinal. Here it is in slow motion. You could probably see it better than we can at home. That's it looks not like goal. it hit. Did it hit? Well, it, it, it hits crossbar. The net, it, it does hit the net and then hits the sidebar and then kicks out. Now, the net can hang onto the goal line. So hitting the net doesn't guarantee that it's a goal. You know what exactly, I'm saying? Exactly, yes, yes. Because the net actually sometimes can actually hang in front of the pipe. I've seen it do that. Especially so, the super tight nets, so too. there's nothing there that says that ball has crossed the goal line it's in its entirety. The way the net hangs there, the ball...